back to our studio today. I'm going to be doing a live illustration of a lemur. Why a lemur? Why not a lemur? <laughs> Why not a lemur? Um, Rip actually took this cool photo um, of a ring-tailed lemur like three years ago and I just think it's really cute and so I'm going to be doing a pencil drawing this time not a pin drawing uh, and so you'll see my progress from start to finish. So here we go. Here's a picture that we're starting with. And they're super fuzzy, and so I really like to do fur texture. Let me see here. I'm going to just map them out a little bit. Um, head. This head's going to go. Um, fur is just really fun for me in particular, like compared to, I don't know. The elephant was really fun with wrinkles and everything like that. But, um,. I just really like to do cute, kind of more whimsical styles sometimes as well. And I think that lemurs are definitely whimsical. But I grew up in the age of Zabumafu, so <laughs> like anybody can relate to Zabu, who's about 30 now. Precursor to Nat Geo is Zabumafu, maybe. Okay, so here's his tummy. It's not looking like a lemur yet, but it will, I promise. Um, so I like to make a little head, like round like shape for the head, and then map out where the snout's gonna be. He's got his little arms up, and so I'm going to draw out where his arms are. One interesting thing about proportion um, that we just, I don't know, as artists kind of learn as we go, is uh, the forearm right here, and or the forearm right here, and then um, the upper arm are the same length. So look at that, and that holds true with most animals. His little thumb, that's the edge of his hand right there. Okay, back to his tummy. Little tummy right there, they're like fat and really pulley. So here's his body area, um, and then they have their their hands are like surprisingly dexterous. Um, they have little fingers. Their paws look more like hands than they do paws, in my opinion. And but they're kind of fuzzy too at the same time. It's just in this cutest little pose. But he's like, what the heck? There's his hand. You can kind of see his hands right now. Taking shape. Okay, so here's his butt. Here's his butt. Where is his butt going to be? It's going to be here. And it looks like there's a little bit of foliage around him, so I'm going to draw that. Just kind of suggest it in right now, because um, I'm not going to go in with detail until we are farther along. Here's his little leg, and then his knee kind of goes back like that. There's a little crux between his belly and his chest right there. Um, his forearm, I kind of move around. I don't know how I decide when to do what, but just kind of whatever feels right. Um, and here's his other knee kind of coming out like that and they've got he's got this weird like toe sticking out in this picture I think it's kind of cute and then his other foot is right there okay so I've pretty much mapped out the body like kind of um, here's the middle line right here Here's the little pectoral muscles. I kind of see those. And let's look back at the reference here. Um, this is where his eye is going to be. I'm going to just, you might not be able to see that because it's super light. Um, but I mapped out where his eye is. His little ear 
little like triangle guy right there, a little shape. I always sort of, I don't know, in art class they had us do, it's like in high school, um, they had us do like shapes upside down, like here, draw this dude with shoes on, but do it upside down and try and see the shapes or whatever. And um, I always thought this is ridiculous, but drawing pretty much is just looking at shapes, looking at where they go, looking at how they interact with each other, and uh, that's pretty much all, all at least traditional, you know, representation, not traditional, I guess, but representational work where you're trying to take a thing and make it look like a thing um, and replicate nature. It's just shapes. And once you get a feel for the shapes, you can pretty much do whatever um, pretty quickly. Okay, so I am going to spend a little time here on the face just because I think that that'll kind of be more of interest. So here's his little snout where it goes up into, into his head. And I'll start doing a little bit of hair texture maybe at this point. Here's his little snout, kind of a dog nose actually. And it goes into the mouth. I like doing mouths because they've got such cool like angular shapes to them. Here's where it goes back. And I always like this tuft that kind of comes up out of like underneath the chin. I just think it's kind of cute. Okay, here's. I'm gonna zoom in in here. You can't see. So, this is little nostril right there. bear noses and dog noses, they have s subtle um, differences and subtle similarities. I might have to like refine this a bit more as we go, but I mean that's his little nostril, it's just kind of mapped out right there. And here's his mouth coming down sort of up. I like to give them a little bit of a edge of the mouth uh, shape. And then, okay, here is his eyeball. And I like to, I like doing eyes. I think that it's where you should spend a lot of your time. He's got this little like expressive forms and shapes around the eyeball. A little like fold under there and you come up to the eraser, heck yes. I like doing drawings with pen, but pencil is a little less nerve wracking sometimes. Although, with pin, um, it is sort of, I do kind of prefer it actually sometimes depending um, on what I'm doing because it's sort of how the pin moves is, is just kind of nice. Um, Alright, here's, it's got colored delineations that are sort of different markings. This little ear is white right there. It comes in and then fuzz and fur and ear shapes. Little ear. There we go. That's, I'll come back and kind of revisit that. But here's his fur. I'm going to zoom back out now. And back to his arm. I like to stylize it just like a little bit so that it looks like a drawing still. And that's sort of a delicate balance, I guess, in the 
artistic judgment making, I suppose, is like how far to take things, you know, whether and how much how much flair you want to give it, and how loose you want it to remain um, from the reference. This is a little little pause. So I like to leave things loose. Oftentimes, offer. I remember when I was a kid, really little, um, all my life basically, I was just obsessed with drawing, and I would draw all the time. I was a, I, w I was not an illustrator by any means. I feel like illustrator is like what you say when you know you're really, really doing it, um, I don't know, for a living or really like going at it, but um, I definitely doodled and got my artistic start in, in drawing, and I've just really always loved it. It's, it's really nice to have an outlet with it's, I mean, we love sculpture, both of us do, and it's what we do, but it's kind of nice every now and then to do something a little bit different. Okay, he's got his little fur and fuzz, little, like, separations there. Just cute little pecs. He's kind of got pectoral muscles. Like, I would not, when you think of lemur, I wouldn't say, like, oh, they've got, like, pecs, <laughs> but they can do. <laughs> Go figure. But that's just a little bit of anatomy showing through the fur mass right there. And I'm going to go in and shade the ear a little bit right now. Okay. Come in. I'm going to do this with hand. Other paw. A little hand paw. Human like right in here. Little pad <coughs> kind of showing the angle. Okay. Little fingers. And then this comes. Up. This is his little forearm right here. I think this pose is coming to life now. This little this fur mass on his arm. And I can, I mean, if I was like gonna make this super refined. I would spend a lot of time on shading and just kind of deciding on what, how far to take it, you know. Okay, I'm going to zoom out of there, not spend too much time on his back, I might even kind of like make that a little bit looser, and he's got, that where it turns from white dark right there on his face and he's got black markings right here on his snout and so I'm just uh, lightly mapping that right now so that I can go back and when I decide how much like to shade it you know um, I'll uh, I'll come back to those decide what to do little like ring around the eye. Okay, so here is, I like this shape right here where it comes up because you can really see his belly and the fur that comes off of it. There we go. Hide his little elbow back in there. Zoom back in here for a while, just like to get 
that mass. Okay. So now he's got these cute little tufts that come up and come down. I'll leave that a little loose. Following the patterns of his fur. He's a cute little lemur. So I like lemurs. I'll, I'll go back and kind of make that look better, but all right, let's kind of move on a little bit to his leg. All kinds of colors on these guys, and their fur is different lengths in different places on the body, so it's interesting to see how it transitions from a little bit longer right here. You can see that on the belly where it's He's like got fur happening to like here on his leg where it's not so fluffy. And so deciding how to tr uh, handle those transitions is sort of an artistic judgment um, to okay, his little foot sticking up right there. And little toes. I'm gonna zoom in. Oh my gosh, that's definitely a claw-looking toenail. Not really what I expected, actually, with um, details doing a lemur. <laughs> I don't know, like monkeys or anything. I, I'm always just surprised that. I don't know, that shapes are sort of different than I would would envision them to be in my mind versus when I'm actually looking at reference here. I was like thinking just to myself just now, like, oh, I wouldn't have uh, sculpted, uh, illustrated it that way at all. But I'm looking at reference and I'm like, okay, I guess I'm learning something here, which is cool. So I'm not really going to like spend a whole lot of time on the foot because you can kind of overwork things a little too much and I'm going to leave that because I think I can easily make it um, sort of look different from the rest of the piece stylistically. Here's a little tail and I'll go in and give him some fur on here. And I will, <laughs> I'm trying to zoom in on my paper. <laughs> Thank you, Apple, for infiltrating my daily life here, <laughs> trying to get muscle memory on paper. Um, okay. Zooming in on the iPad instead. They have these, it looks like they don't have very much fur on their snout. What I'm seeing, it's kind of, I don't know, looks like wrinkly skin. I'm gonna go in here and do that a little bit better. Just map that out. It looks like a little bit of fur on the snout, but it doesn't look like they have that much fur on the snout, so I'll go over it. I think he's cute. I don't know if I'm going to want to give this one away. <laughs> we said we're doing a giveaway, but I don't know. I kind of like him. Wait. No, I'll give him away, but I don't want to. This is one that I would, and I remember actually as a kid, I would keep all of my drawings and I was, I would, I would just hoard art. I would have stacks and stacks. It was kind of ridiculous. Like I, I felt like I would fall in love with each of my drawings, even if it was just something simple, it would 
I just, I remember thinking to myself, like, oh my gosh, if we, if we get robbed and they take my artwork, that will be, I will, like, be broken hearted. And I kind of feel like that with this one. I won't be broken hearted, though. So here I feel like we've got, you know, um, it's, he's, his shapes and forms and basic detail are kind of here. And so now I am going to start in with the actual shading and detailing. Just for masses. And I'm going to do this. Eyes are kind of, eyes, eyes are fun and eyes are hard, um, both at the same time, because kind of a lot is riding on whether or not you do an eye correctly or not. See this little tear duct in there, kind of comes down. I think that maybe I have this a little bit too, um, too angled. At it again. That kind of comes back a little bit more. And I've, I've redone this part of the face a couple times just because it's an important area. You want to get it right. So we've got these little whiskers too, and I'm noticing that in the photo, but I'm not going to put those in quite yet. So, okay, back to the eye. So I'm seeing here that the eye is sort of like a, like a amber color and I'm thinking out loud because I'm wondering how to stylize it. Um, hmm. Whether or not to do like a little glisten maybe. So I'll see if I'm looking up here. We'll see, I don't know if I like that. I might redo it. <clears throat> That's the nice part of having pencil. No, I don't like that. I'm gonna redo it. I think I'm gonna stylize him a little bit. Make him a little cuter than maybe the reference shows. Cause he just, I don't know, he's super cute there, but I'm going to add a little whimsy here. So, I'm going to make him look in a different direction. It might be cartoony, but I don't care. A little glisten in the eye. Hmm. Now, one thing I've learned from Walt Disney <laughs> is how to treat eyes to be cute. And maybe my problem right here is that this is going to turn into a cartoon so fast here if I'm not careful. But, and maybe I don't care about that. Maybe I do want a little bit of a cartoon. This is usually like the cutting room floor material that nobody sees <laughs> when I do an illustration. You know, the uh, times that I erase and, uh, and redo. I'm going to accentuate this a little bit so it looks like it, he's got a little bit of maybe an eyebrow. And let's see here. I'm going to do a glisten. I'm also gonna, gonna fill that in there. So there's, and by glisten I mean where where the light hits the eye. So I'm gonna keep the tear duct in that same spot because a little bit of I mean I want some realism in this, but I think I just put my little bit of little bit of cartoon illustration in there. 
Um, and I'm just, that's just going to be the way that this is. Because <laughs> I like it that way. <laughs> and I'm actually going to move this color line a little bit, just because we can. And I'm going off-roading right now, artist off-roading. Okay, but I can't forget about this black ring that they have around their eyes because that's characteristic to lemurs. But I don't want to completely hide the eye detail, so I'm not going to make that black black. It's kind of fun narrating this. I don't really go through, I mean, I go through all of these decisions in my own brain, um, but it's sort of, I don't know, unconscious, subconscious, I guess. And so it's interesting to hear myself, like, debate <laughs> what to do <laughs> um, and how to do it, because I've never done that before. Add a little bit of fur right there. It kind of takes longer. Once you start getting into the detail part of things, um, things slow down a little bit. Because when I did the body, you know, like you saw, um, that went really fast. But now that I'm into the details, it goes just kind of. Like I said, it goes a little bit slower. Okay. Now I don't think I got that nose quite right the first time. I might stylize this nose a little bit too. Just because I can. That's kind of a darker color on the nose that I'm seeing um, on the reference, but I'm not going to make it super, super black, black. I'm going to treat it like I did with the eye. This might be kind of a long video. <laughs> I'm going to have to hurry it up. So. While I'm doing this, I'm thinking about shadows, and under the mouth here is a good opportunity to kind of create a little bit of a shadow, like make it a little bit darker, because that just gives uh, the illusion, you know, that that there's that there's a difference, like an upper and lower, right there. this fuzzy ear. This is light in here, so I don't want to like give it too much texture, but I do want to give it a little bit of texture. So let's color this in a little bit. So I slowed down quite a bit on the face, but now I'm going to kind of speed things up a little bit again. So this is colored in here. Again, I'm thinking about, about shadows. How the fur, what the fur does, you know? Um, and this is kind of the fun part for me. I guess it's all the fun part. I, mean, I enjoy every part of This fur color transition right through here, and I'm going to just kind of go in here a little bit 
darker, where the fur has, uh, where you can kind of see down into the fur a little bit. Okay, I said that I was going to speed up, but I guess I lied. Now I'm actually going to speed up. strokes a little bit bigger. I'm going to be happy with that. So again, yeah, just got this little paw right here. This little pad, I guess. And then, you know, a little bit of shading. I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend too much time. thinking about light too, uh, kind of like I did up here, um, where the, uh, where the light is and how it affects the fur, while at the same time not wanting to spend 10 years doing, doing shading, because <laughs> I think that people can kind of get caught up on shading, uh, and I don't want to, it'll be midnight guys will not be watching me anymore <laughs> if I do that. So there's a little shadow underneath here. Make that a little bit darker. And what I did was I got kind of tight right in here. Um, still kind of a loose drawing, but I, I went in and paid more attention to detailing up at the face, and so I, what I want to do is kind of create like a focus, and you can do that um, by spending, it's sort of like, like, I don't know, um, when you take a photo and some things are out of focus and what you want people to, what you want the eye to go to naturally, um, you want that to be clearer. Uh, you can do the same thing in drawing, um, just by spending a little bit more time where you want the eye to go, and by leaving everything else sort of, uh, looser, um, the eye will still read all of this, but you want to see the face, you know, you want to spend more time on, visually on the face than elsewhere, so. Use this little foot. And I'm actually going to cover part of the feet and the toes just with, with grass here. Um, I'm going to suggest some grass off to the side and then again off to the side. And uh, it's like leaning back a little bit, and so you want to show a little bit of the uh, background. Not, not super. But we do want to kind of include that, I guess. When you do a foreground and a background, you always want to make sure that the composition leads your eye up to what you want people to look at, too. And so um, I'm erasing for that reason. Just to kind of create a little bit, just a like, slight triangle, I guess. people who illustrate and draw for a living. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I spend most of my time, obviously, sculpting, but I really, it's, it's, uh, something that can, I don't know, be really satisfying, because it's, I mean, when we do bronzes, it's, we don't have any immediate gratification. It's months and months of, of waiting for casting <laughs> after you've already, you know, spent months and months creating a piece. And so it's just so much work and so labor intensive 
that uh, I, I admire people who can um, create masterpieces. Uh, and this is not a masterpiece, by the way. This is something that I'm having fun doing. That I want to share, you know, um, some of our artistic process. But I guess what I'm saying is I just really, I love, I love all art mediums and people who do this for a living. I have um, a lot of a lot of respect for because there's a lot of great artists out there and to get to that point I guess I'm just aspiring to be a certain level um, like everything else takes a lot of dedication but I do this mainly for fun mind is kind of a delicate balance between doing fur and shadowing because you don't want the shadows to look like fur and you don't want the uh, effect that you're going for to get lost. Um, you do want to give it depth. And so I'm sort of going in just giving it some, trying to give it depth. that's already there. And I think I'm getting close to being done here. And then giving a little bit of color on his paw, on the palm pad. These little, little claws right there. shading in different directions too. Um, but this is just a super fun drawing. Like I just I love this little guy. And he just w lends himself really well uh, to a whimsical kind of type drawing. Like I said I stylized it a little bit. Can't wait to see who gets this piece. So comment in the in the comment section and uh, tag a friend and let us know what you think. So I'm pretty much done with this guy. Make a couple like little extra things, but here is my lemur. That I did. I um, really had fun on this one and appreciate everybody who's, I can't stop working. <laughs> I appreciate everybody who's, uh, who's watched to this point. Um, like I said, I, I just, I just think it was super cute and I'm going to sign it. That'll be the last thing that, last little touch on this piece. Thanks for watching.